Hey guys, Eric here, Accurate Appraisal Partners. Uh, gonna make another video today. It's gonna do about manufacturer versus modular. Um, been putting a lot more stuff together and I even ran into one that threw me for a loop. So I want to uh, make a, a good video, maybe a, a two part or three part series. I get pretty long winded. So anyway, today we're gonna do a little video on know what you're getting yourself into, you know, with these loans. You know, when you, when you buy a home or refinance a home, if you're buying a home, it's going to be probably one of the biggest purchases in your life. Not for everybody, but for most people. Uh, when you're buying a home, refinancing a home, you're saddling yourself up with anywhere from a 10 to 15 to 30, typically 30 years of, of payments, you know. So know, know what you're getting into because if all of a sudden you think, oh, yeah, I can afford this today, but what about tomorrow? Nobody can predict the future, but but know, know what you're getting into, you know, especially now with these interest rates. This is February 2024, interest rates are still high. They haven't dropped. Uh, $500,000 loan isn't what it was, you know, two and a half years ago at 2% and three grand a month or something. Now it's it's big money. So, uh, I don't know, I'm rambling here, but let's, let's look at like different loan packages, I guess is what I'm trying to get into. I run into several situations where you have a loan officer or a realtor that just needs to make a deal or close a deal. Uh, a lot of loan officers are, are junior loan officers or they're just hired to solicit loans. They, they don't know. They don't understand. They know the lingo more than you do, so they sound knowledgeable, but they don't really know what's going to fly and what's going to work. Realtors are some really good ones, and then there's some other ones that just don't care. They're just going to slam you into whatever they need to do to get you know, the deal done to make a commission. Um, so really, it's up to you. You're the person putting your neck out, your money out, buying this property, refinancing this property to know what you're, you're getting into. Uh, some big ones, FHA, USDA, uh, that's, that's something where you have to know what you're doing because FHA is based on HUD handbook 4000.1. There's all kinds of items that have to meet, you know, criteria. There can't be any health and safety hazards. <clears throat> there can't be any structural issues. If the home was built before 1980. If there's any peeling paint, you're going to scrape it and paint it. If the home's any age, if there's exposed wood or uh, any sort of exposed surfaces and then peeling paint, you're going to scrape it and paint it. That's just the way they work. They like painting apparently. Uh, all the mechanicals and utilities have to be on. Any purchase, especially USDA, you got to have uh, CO detectors. <clears throat> Excuse me, a lot of places require smoke detectors too. You know, make sure those are in. Um, you know, mechanicals, utilities got to be on. I think I already stated that, but that means the water's got to be on, the heat's got to be on, the toilet's got to flush. Uh, HUD handbook even goes so far as to check in appliances, cabinets, and built-ins. Do they function? If they're real property, if they're personal property, doesn't matter. But like a dishwasher or disposal, um, you know, the kitchen cabinets, if doors are hanging off the wall, they, they want you to repair that stuff. Uh, well and septic, distances between well and septic and property lines. Summertime, it's not as big a deal, but in the winter, if there's a foot of snow, I'm probably going to make you uncover it so then I can measure it out and figure out what it is. You know, uh, sometimes you can research it through land use, but they don't have the data. And sometimes people just don't even know what they're looking for when you're trying to find it. So these are all things when you go to get a loan, you know, you're buying a, a, a janky old home as is. And you're like, oh, I'm getting a hell of a deal. And the loan officers, boy, we got this package for you. The realtor is excited because they're like, yeah, this is great. We're going to put you in. FHA and it's only 3.5% down, you know, and then we're going to do some concessions and, and then that way you really only have to come up with a couple grand out of your pocket by the time the sellers credit you and the, on the purchase. Oh, done deal. And then unfortunately they send out the mean old appraiser and I'm like, man, you're buying this out of an estate. The mechanics and utilities aren't on. Uh, foot of snow on the ground. I don't know where the septic's at. There's peeling paint all over the place. The shed's falling down. You know, you got to fix that. And they're like, well, I didn't know that. Nobody told me. It's like, well, this is stuff personally you should know because it's kind of buyer beware in that sense. It's not just buyer beware of the house, but it's buyer beware of what you're getting into or refinancer re beware of what you're refinancing. Um, you know, and the mortgage people, the lenders should know a lot of times stuff gets overlooked and people just don't ask questions or they don't explain things. I've had really good realtors that, you know, ask me a lot of questions to make sure a home will qualify for it. I've had others where I get out there. And I'm like, well, what the hell are you doing? And, and they're just like, oh, well, we'll just 
get it done and then deal with it as we need to. It's like, yeah, but this isn't your expense and this isn't your time. You know, this is the buyer's time or the seller's time, you know, and that's not fair to them or you because that's who I'm talking to in this video. Um, so make sure you know stuff. If you're doing FHA, health, safety, structural, also mechanicals, utilities, well, septic, um, you know, USDA mirrors FHA. Uh, there's some other, I don't know, there's weird loan programs I don't work much with. Uh, VA is pretty strict. I don't do VA, but it's basically HUD, FHA, and then I think there's other stipulations. But be sure you ask questions, you know, and, and don't be afraid to go over your loan officer's head or over your realtor's head. You know, these people aren't, they're not Jesus. You know, they're, they're just people like you and I are. And, you know, ask questions. Say, hey, will this loan fit me? Can we tailor it to suit my needs? You know, hey, this home has some issues, you know, um, is this going to work for this loan? Or maybe should I save up and go conventional or maybe look for another property? And then in that case, don't be pulling the wool over your own eyes saying, oh, I just won't say nothing. You know, we'll just slide this under the radar. Well, you're going to have a home inspection. You're going to have an appraiser. You know, you might even have an engineer or survey for like an ILC. I mean, there's going to be all kinds of people that the bank's going to hire or you're going to have to hire, you know, to make sure this loan goes through and they're probably going to pick it up. You know, I mean, I might miss a flake, a flake of paint over in the corner, or maybe there's a handrail that's a little loose that I didn't see when I was going up and down the deck or something. But I mean, 90% of the stuff we're going to pick up. So do yourself a favor, look at the property and then decide, you know, what kind of loan program you're going to get. Ask questions about this loan program and then go back and decide, is this really going to work? You know, because you can cost yourself a lot of money. I can uh, I can recite several things. I had one the other day where it was an as-is purchase. Okay, as-is purchase out of an estate. You're getting a heck of a deal on the property, but then they put them into a USDA loan and they ended up probably spending ten or $15,000 to make it qualify for the USDA loan. The borrower's mad at me saying, well, we were going to fix this anyway and we're buying it as-is. I said, I understand that, but the bank, my client, is hiring me to do an appraisal to meet USDA qualifications which mirrors HUD's qualifications for FHA and HUD handbook 4000.1. Sorry, that's a lot to spit out, but they mirror each other. You know, you have to be a HUD certified or FHA certified appraiser to do a USDA loan. They just don't use an FHA case number is all it is. So anyway, he's mad at me and I said, no, this is on you and the loan officer because he didn't explain what was going on. He dangled the carrot in front of your nose and you're all excited about not having to make a down payment or a minimal down payment but nobody explained what's going on. So ask questions. Be sure and ask a lot of questions. You know, ask, the, ask your loan officer questions. If he starts humming and hawing or you feel like he's talking in circles or, oh yeah, it's just a simple deal, we'll get it done. You know, say, I, I think I need to talk to a different loan officer or maybe talk to a branch manager. Even ask, to, I've had realtors do this. I argue and argue and argue. Finally, I'm like, go talk to the loan officer's underwriter, whoever's underwriting this or allowing it to go to the secondary market or allowing it to go be shopped around. There's always someone in the lending office that's an underwriter. Even if they're not the main underwriter, they're going to make sure everything passes. I say, go talk to them, ask them if it'll pass. I've done this for 20 years, like 5,000 appraisals. And 90% of the time when I'm saying, you know, you better, better check. I'm not trying to be a pain in your butt. I'm trying to help you out. And I've had realtors do that. And then they come back and they're all pissed off. They're like, oh, yeah, this isn't going to qualify because the zoning's not right. You know, you can't rebuild or this isn't, this is not going to qualify for FHA, you know, because the whole deck's falling down and nobody can afford, afford to rebuild it or haul it off to the trash, you know. So talk to your realtor. You know, if you're looking at a home and you see a lot of property issues and they're talking about FHA, USDA, VA, even if that's all you can afford when you're looking at the home, say, hey, will this property qualify for it? Look for, look for peeling paint, you know, look for loose handrails, you know. If the power and utilities are off, say, man, we really need to make sure the mechanicals are on to check this or because I have to make sure they're on. The inspector wants to make sure they're on, you know, um, even conventional loans, check your zoning uh, in conventional loans. I even have to make a statement if there's any health or safety hazards. So if all of a sudden, you know, you got a home on a conventional loan that's got a shop that's halfway fallen down, well, I'm probably going to condition it and then you're going to have to take care of it. So ask Ask your realtor questions. If you're doing a refinance and you're not dealing with a realtor, ask your loan officer questions. That's their job, not just to get you the loan, but to steer you through the right process. I mean, listen to all these rocket mortgage commercials and everybody else, uh, American financing, and they're, they're all good clients of mine, but you know, they have these, we're here to help you. We're here to make it right. We're here to get you your money. Well, they're also here 
to answer your questions and not get you in trouble. So make sure you know what you're getting into. You know, look at the property. You know, if the property looks kind of rough and they're putting you in some kind of government program, you know, ask them, is this going to qualify? What are we going to have to do? Who's going to take care of these repairs? Will the seller knock down the price for the repairs? And then a lot of times they'll be like, oh, well, let's just go ahead and get title in the appraisal and then we'll figure it out as we go. Well, then they're roping you into the deal. The more that, you know, you step in quicksand and the more you wiggle around, the deeper, deeper you're going to get in the hole. So ask questions first. Educate yourself, man. I mean, I'm... I'm here making stupid videos on YouTube and there's 5,000 other guys and girls out there making other stupid videos on YouTube trying to explain everything we have knowledge in, you know, whether it's houses, mechanics, you know, weightlifting, I don't know, any, anything you're into. I mean, so research it, you know, don't just jump in with your eyes closed because it's probably going to sting when you hit the ground. So ask questions. Don't be afraid to go over people's heads. You know, if a realtor doesn't know it, ask your loan officer. If a loan officer hums and haws and doesn't know it, Say, hey, can you run this by the underwriter? I want to talk to them or I want to talk to the branch manager. Yeah, they're going to get angry because you're insulting their ego. But hey, it's your money, your house, your investments, your life. You know, you, you're you're giving them a commission, but you're the one that has to deal with the consequences. You know, so ask your questions. You can go to my website, www.accurateappraisal.com. Accurate appraisal, goodness sakes, not enough coffee. www.accurateappraisalpartners.com. Um, you know, I got links. I got different videos I've been working on. Uh, you can contact me. I'm, I'm a certified residential appraiser in Colorado, but I, I know a lot of the laws that are applicable all over the U.S., especially for like FHA and USDA and stuff. Um, but, but just know your stuff, do your research, and then, you know, don't be afraid to ask questions or go over somebody's head. And remember, it's your investment. Hope this helps. Thanks, Eric, Accurate Appraisal Partners. Have a good day.